In this video, I'm going to show you how to recreate the Cinema 4D effect using Blender 3.0 and Geometry Notes. To start, I'm going to delete everything in the scene. I'm going to create a grid. I'll scale it up a little and I'll also create a cube. So what we're basically doing is taking this cube and we're going to instance it onto each vertex within this grid. To do that, I'm going to click the grid go to geometry nodes, click new. I'll pin this so the node graph stays up when we click off. I'll drag in our cube that we want to instance and I'll do instance on points. Here we go. So this did what we expected. Uh, we can't really see each cube individually just because they're all so big, they're overlapping each other. So I'm gonna create a value and I'll just set it to something like 0.09 so that we can see all the cubes that were instanced. I'll hide the cube for now. Next, we want some sort of visual representation on the area that we want to be scaled. There's a lot of ways to do this. Uh, my preference is to create an empty with a sphere. And what we're gonna do is create a, create a point. A, a single vertex inside this empty that we can then query the distance or the proximity to each of these instance, instanced cubes. So in order to do that, uh, I'm going to first drag my instance over here and I'll just move these up. So what we're going to do is create a mesh line. Uh, this is a simple way just to create a single vertex and I'm gonna have the position of the line uh, be the position of, of the empty. I'm gonna set that to relative. So next we want to get the proximity and we want the proximity to the points and we'll use this vertex that we just made. So now this distance will actually work in terms of scaling it. Again, we have a lot of overlap, so it's a little hard to see. A quick way to modify that is to use the map range node and we could just set it to something for now. We're gonna keep tweaking that. So now we kind of have uh, what we want working. This is the base of it. I'm gonna make this bigger just so you can see everything. Uh, there's a few things that we haven't done yet. So one would be when we scale this, it doesn't actually affect the scale or the, the range in which we're mapped or we're mapping the scale. So one way to do that, um, you can see we have the scale parameter right here. We're just going to create a math node and we're going to set that to multiply based on the scale. And we're going to have to tweak these again. And now uh, when we scale it up, it actually affects uh, the scale of the vector. And again, I'm going to just tweak this a little bit just so we can visualize it a little better. So one thing the Cinema 4D example also had was translation. Um, you may see there's no way to translate uh, in the instance on points uh, node, but we can do a set position. We can put that right here. And we already have the mapped range. I'm actually gonna just make it so you can see all this a little clearer. And what we wanna do is basically just affect the Z, but uh, based on the proximity. So I'm gonna do a combine X, Y, Z. And we're going to basically take, uh, we could take, I don't know if we want to actually, I guess we'll do the scale as well. So we'll put that into Z and you'll see it, it jumped up just a little bit. So we want to have some more control of that as well. I'm going to add another math node here and we can set this to something like three. And now you can see we have it translating and scaling based on where this effector is. And I can also scale this up. That's pretty much it. You can see the different possibilities in terms of scaling it among different axes or uh, having it rotate, all sorts of things you could do with this. 
if you like this tutorial, please consider subscribing. Thank you very much for watching.